Hi there, today I'm going to be showing how to generate code within Zapier using ChatGPT and Zapier's own Generate with AI function. And the example I'm going to use is getting today's date. Okay, I'll start off with the easy way to get the date within Zapier. And then later on in this video, I'm going to show how we can use ChatGPT and Zapier's Generate with AI to get the same date. So you can skip ahead to those sections if you're not interested in seeing the easy way to do it but I'm going to go through the easy way here first for people. And Zapier provides default tokens for getting the current timestamp in various formats. So the easiest format for humans to understand is this Zap Meta Human Now, and it returns the date and timestamp in this format, which is very easy for us humans to read. However, there are other formats like the Zep meta timestamp, which puts the timestamp in Unix time, which isn't as easy for us to read. And then there are other timestamps available in different time zones. So what we'll do is we'll copy one of these, like the Zap meta human now. And if we want to use this in our Zap, we can just paste that in as input here. So if you're looking for the link, to get all these tokens, you can follow this link here in the blog post. And then as I mentioned, these timestamps that Zapier gives us might not be in the correct format that we want. So what we can do is we can use the formatter by Zapier app to format the timestamp given to us by Zapier and output it in a timestamp of our choosing. So as I showed here, we can copy and paste the timestamp token that Zapier gives us, we can put it in our formatter by Zapier step. We can choose the format that we want it to be converted to. And we can choose the time zone that we want it to be converted to as well. And as shown in this article, if the format we want our timestamp to be in is not available, in the drop down menu here, we can build our own custom format using this table here. So we can use all these different values here and put them in the custom field here to define our very own output for this uh, date and timestamp that we're looking for. Then if you know the format that your input timestamp is in, you can specify that here. However, I recommend leaving it blank and then letting Zapier decide what format the input timestamp is in. I think that's the most reliable thing to do. And then if you know the time zone, which this input timestamp is in, also specify that here, or else if you don't specify the time zone here and it's not specified in the input timestamp, then it will default to UTC time. So that's how we can use the tokens provided by Zapier and the formatter by Zapier app to get today's date in whatever format we are looking for. And now I'm going to show you how we can do the same thing with ChatGPT and Zapier's Generate with AI function. Okay, so now we are going to choose the code by Zapier app and the run Python event. And then we are going to go to ChatGPT to get our code. So we're going to give ChatGPT a very simple prompt. And the prompt in this case is, please generate the Python code to get today's date in this format. And then we specify the format 16th of July, 2023. And then all we have to do is copy and paste the code given to us by ChatGPT. So we go copy code. And then we're going to paste this in to the code by Zapier action. And then the only thing we need to add at the end, so you'll notice here that the chat GPT code ends at print today's date, formatted date. The only, the only modification we need to make is just add this line at the end, which is output equals date formatted date. And you can copy that from this blog post here. So the only change we need to make is putting this line of code at the bottom. So you can copy this and then paste that straight into the zap. And this final step here just makes the formatted date available so that when we go run test, we can then use this date in any future zap steps that come afterwards. 
So that's how we can use ChatGPT to get the Python code necessary to get today's date in a format we desire. And ChatGPT is actually very responsive. I've tested it out different times. So for example, I said, please generate the Python code to generate the current timestamp in central district time. And then I told it, it told me in this case to use the import pi time zone module. However, Zapier does not have that module available. So I said to it, I do not have access to the pi tz module. How else can I set the time in central district time? And then it gave me an alternative using the time delta class. So then I could use this code instead. So I highly recommend if you're trying to do any sort of simple coding within Zapier, use ChatGPT and you can speak to ChatGPT in very simple layman's terms as I've done here. Please generate the code to get today's date in this format and it'll do it all for you. That's how easy it is to use ChatGPT to generate code to get today's date. Okay, so now let's do the same thing, but this time we're going to use Zapier's generate with AI function. So same as before, we use the code by Zapier app, the run Python event. And this time we're going to use the generate with AI functionality. And we are going to use the exact same prompt from ChatGPT. Please generate the Python code to get today's date in this format. And then we paste this in and we go generate code. And we can go, we can review it and then we can go add code. And the very first thing we notice is that it's a lot more verbose than ChatGPT's code. So we can see it's almost double the length. So ChatGPT's one was nice and concise and simple. And Zapier's one is very, very long. And then the same as before, we do need to do a bit of modification here. So we can copy this output date formatted Let's copy this because if we try and run this right away, it says output missing, please define output or return early. So for Zapier's own AI function, that isn't a good uh, look for them. So what we actually need to do is we need to modify the code that the generate with AI gave us with the same modification that we use with chat GPT. So we go output equals date, and then we can see that the thing we want to output is this date string. So we copy this and then we paste this in here and we can delete that line actually. And then we go continue and then let's go retest action. So we can see it does give us the date in the desired format, the same way chat GPT does. However, the only difference is that ChatGPT is a lot more concise. Okay, so there we have it. That is a very simple example of how we can get today's date using code provided by ChatGPT and Zapier's own generate with AI function. And since you're interested in learning more about Zapier, I recommend checking out the SubZap by Zapier Quick Start Guide, the Zapier for Each Loop Quick Start Guide, and the Zapier Google Sheets Quick Start Guide, because these will run you through the other fundamentals you need within Zapier. And as always, if you like this video, then please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. And if you want to see more content like this in the future, then please subscribe. Have a great day.